In this modern world full of over-evolved apes using smartphones, reboots are plentiful. Instead of making new shows, people just take old IPs that were already good, reboot them to get views and more money for that project, all the while massacring the entire name and identity associated with that show. Because it's just a cash grab. It's a soulless piece of garbage that they're just pushing out to rake in the money. And recently, there's been a rumor being passed around online. It seems to be a pretty credible rumor that The Office is going to be getting a reboot. And I'm sure you've all heard of The Office. You've probably watched The Office because it's one of the best shows ever. In my opinion, it's the best sitcom to ever be created. It does not get better than The Office. And you can say I'm on the bandwagon, that I'm meat rotting The Office, whatever. My opinion still stands. And now, the reason I'm talking about this, obviously, is because with this suspected reboot of The Office, it's it's got me a bit scared, you know? The anticipation, obviously, I would love to see The Office come back. Everyone would, you know? If something end, it ended in, like, 2013, and it was a really good show. But, I will say, before the show ended, you could notice, uh, like, a, a decline in the later seasons, especially after Michael left after the character Michael Scott left the show, it did take a noticeable drop in quality. That's not to say it wasn't good. It was still very good and very enjoyable. But this reboot has me a bit scared because just comparing it to other reboots that they do of other, you know, popular shows that they bring back, try to Dr. Frankenstein and resuscitate, it doesn't entirely go that well. And if they do that with The Office... It's just going to leave a sour taste in mine as well as everyone else's mouths because we're going to feel like they just ruined a very beloved show. The only way I can really see the Office reboot going well is if they don't bring any of the original cast back. If they bring most of or try to bring all of the original cast back, I feel like it's just going to go bad. Sure, it'll be cool to see them all have a reunion, but in the end, it's not going to be the same show. It's going to be way too different. It's, it's going to be weird. I think the best way they could go about this reboot is maybe have like one or two characters from the old Office series. And then in the reboot, have like a fresh new cast and then somehow tie it into the old storyline. That would be acceptable, albeit it it may still not be as good quality wise, even though they're going to have the same, shro the, the same showrunner, Greg Daniels. It's going to still be ran by him. But even with the same creator working on this project, this beloved series, that doesn't mean he can strike gold twice. Because a show like The Office, it's going to be hard to recreate that original... It's going to be hard to capture that original feeling. It's like trying to get lightning in a bottle. It doesn't strike the same place twice. Basically what I'm getting at is that it's going to be really hard to stack up to what The Office was. Even if it's the same dude making it, a reboot is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting. It's going to have to be really good to be seen up there with its predecessor. It's like LeBron James, you know, his son, Bronny. Everyone has these insane expectations for him because his father is one of the greatest basketball players of all time, if not the best. And that's how this show is going to be with The Office. The reboot is going to constantly be associated with and compared to its predecessor, The Office. And they're going to unfairly compare it in terms of quality, characters, and all that. And it's built up these expectations that may be a bit too high, that may be a bit out of reality, that this reboot just can't reach. It may literally be out of its grasp. And this is one of the first bits of major information that's came out ever since the writer's strike ended. They finally got what they wanted. They seem to have got a good deal. And uh, this is a quote from the WGA. It says, We can say with great pride that this deal is exceptional with meaningful gains and protections for writers in every sector of the membership. And that's great. I'm glad they're getting what they wanted and what they desire because they deserve it. You know, the writers are the, the literal blood of these TV shows. And then the actors, of course, bring it to life. It's a, it's got to be a well-oiled machine. And if one of the components is being mistreated and not maintained properly, it's going to bring the whole quality, quality level down tremendously. But this Office reboot is one, like I said, the, one of the biggest pieces of information directly following the writer's, you know, strike ending. 
And the only really confirmation that we have is a report of Puck News that says the Office creator Greg Daniels is currently working on a reboot of the beloved series. And of course, there isn't like a casting list. It's pretty much just been confirmed that there is going to be a reboot. There's no rough timeline of when the show will be released, who's going to be the actors. But I, I want to reiterate again, I don't think they should bring back any of the core cast because I, I, I think that would ruin it. It just wouldn't have that same spark and it wouldn't feel the same. They, they need to bring some fresh blood in. Sure, you can have a cameo or two of some old characters. Do some fan service, you know, make the fans happy, but definitely don't keep them. Just do like a friendly little reunion in an episode and then move on with the new story. And then they also threw in a quote from Greg Daniels himself, and he says that he thinks it would be just be sort of like an extension of the universe. You know what I mean? Like the way The Mandalorian is like an extension of Star Wars. So he wants to create like the office world. And this spinoff is going to be like The Mandalorian is to Star Wars. It's not in the main storyline, but it's a branch off, directly off of the main story. Which could be good. It could genuinely be a really good reboot and something that the fans have been... It could be what they've been longing for. It could scratch that itch that The Office has left since it quit airing in 2013. I think the only reason that I'm not looking forward to this is the track record that we have when it comes to reboots. Because there's some great examples of TV shows and movies that get rebooted and just absolutely ruin the entire franchise or the view of that franchise. Kind of soils, spoils that good memory that people have in their head of it. It's prevalent in all genres, really, but the horror movie genre is really the prime offender. It's the, it's the biggest of these criminal offenders because there are so many reboots in the horror franchises, like Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, Child's Play, Scream, reboots galore. And nine times out of ten, all those reboots are hot doo-doo ass, stinky turds that are just, that they don't even belong in like the dollar bin at Walmart. I have uh, very high hopes, high expectations, but I am very prepared for those to be very undermet and for the show to be very underwhelming just because what I'm used to when it comes to reboots. But I'm crossing my fingers, crossing my toes, crossing everything that that's not the case and it is a really good reboot and a, an amazing show. I'm hoping for that. Praying for that even, and I and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.